Well, the days leading up to Jalen Walker's death are slowly being pieced together. And as our three news investigation discovered, Walker experienced loss of his own. Investigator Marissa Sines examines how the course of his life shifted the month before he was shot and killed by Akron police. That's right. Good, uh, good evening, Isabel. We know that the shooting started as a traffic stop, that Jalen fled and fired a gunshot. Police told us they found a ski mask and a gun. They also found a wedding band sharing the symbolic images as a reminder of his fiance, who died tragically one month earlier. Walker's last month is now part of a broader investigation into his death. A wrestler, a hard worker. That's how people knew Jalen Walker. I've been long enough to, to have kids that have tested me, uh, pushed uh, the limits. Jalen Walker was not one of those kids. Robert Hubbard, a Bucktail High School wrestling coach, has seen a lot of kids come and go in his 20 years on the job. Walker's face always stayed with him. I always had a smile. Friends and family tell us if you knew 25-year-old Walker, you knew his love for his fiance, his high school sweetheart, Jamisha Beasley. He was on his own, um, him and his, you know, lady. They were together, very important to one another, and we love her too. Walker's life would round a corner of heartbreak after Beasley's sudden death in a tragic hit-and-run car accident outside of Cincinnati one month before Walker's deadly encounter with police. How is he coping with that? I'm unsure, to be honest with you, but he always kept the same attitude with us, you know, reserved, keeping himself busy. He never, never made it an issue if he was, you know, struggling with anything. He always just said, you know, I'm good and I'll be there. I, I think it did hit him. Well, of course it would it hit him pretty hard. Um, that she was gone. Walker, who had no criminal history beyond a speeding ticket, would lead police on chases in two different cities back to back evenings. That behavior, the family says, not only out of character, but a question now that may never be answered. At this point in this investigation, there is no explanation for that. Um, the behavior is strange, there's no doubt. That behavior is not lethal behavior. The Walker family attorney, Bobby DiCello, says that it's unclear if Jalen was wearing the ring during the chase. I do want to note that in the hit and run crash for his fiance, the person responsible is still unknown today. Isabel. All right, Marissa, thank you for that in-depth report. Sure.